Hello, and welcome back to another Media Mental Meltdown with me, Drone Tech. Today, I bring you someone who not only sounds like he's on the edge of a psychotic embolism, but looks the part as well. Seriously, did they pick this guy specifically because it looks like his skull is trying to escape through his face? In this case, we have CNN media analyst David Zurawick, who's super angry at and scared of Elon Musk because he supports free speech. And then, as usual, with no self-awareness, he says the quiet part out loud. I think there's a bigger problem that when we focus on the personalities of people like Elon Musk and people say, oh, I think Elon's thinking this or that. There's a bigger problem here about how we are going to control the channels of communication mm -hmm. in this country. <laughs> Unreal. I mean, I actually kind of agree with him in that I think the problem here are self-important partisan political operatives in the media pretending to be objective arbiters of truth who clearly think it's their job to control the flow of information. He could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually control right. uh, exactly what people think. And that yeah. is the that is if our you, job. Yeah. Every single one of these puppets is fine with their billionaires being in control of the flow of information and the power to control narratives, which is exactly what we all know they do with that power. Musk has said that all he wants to do is open it up for everyone and adhere to America's most basic principle of free speech. It should be obvious who the bad guys are here. The good guys do not need to suppress dissent. That's what the authoritarians do. We're getting back into this clip, but first a quick message from preparewithdronetech.com. Friends, the world is in serious danger right now. Inflation is causing food prices to skyrocket. The global supply chain continues to collapse and the coming food shortages will be worse than any Thing we've lived through. In times like these, what should you do? Go to preparewithdronetech.com and invest in long-term food storage from My Patriot Supply while you still can. My Patriot Supply is the largest preparedness company in America with millions of satisfied customers, me included. Their food lasts for up to 25 years in storage. When you need it, you'll have it and you'll avoid the government lines. Act quickly and save $150 on a vital three month emergency food kit. This kit provides a variety of delicious foods totaling over 2000 calories a day. You won't go hungry with this emergency food, period. Go to preparewithdronetech.com and and save $150 on every three month food kit. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Protect your family and secure this emergency food today. Preparewithdronetech.com. We gave over our uh, what amounts to our airwaves or our internet waves to Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. And we are in so much trouble because those guys believe in making money. No! No! No, not that one, no! No! We've already seen that with the 2016 election in Zuckerberg when he was taking rubles for ads from Russia and say, oh, I think it's crazy to think they had any influence on this election. I apologize. I actually am having a pretty bad headache right now because my brain is literally short circuiting over the nearly quantum absurdity of a very handsomely paid media talking heads brazen display of unawareness on a fake news network whose mission it is to make money and propagandize for one political party. And just to prove that unequivocally, I did a search for any mention at all of Jeff Bezos, a billionaire who owns the left-wing Washington Post, and what did I find? I could not find even one single mention of Jeff Bezos by this useless skin sack, much less any criticism that this billionaire owns a major media outlet. It's really very simple. Bezos is a puppet for the agenda, so he good. Musk is a threat to that agenda, so he bad. During his rant trying to justify using government force to suppress views he doesn't like, he launches into a separate conspiracy theory tangent about how he thinks Russia stole the election because Facebook used rubles to purchase ads. We've already seen that with the 2016 election in Zuckerberg when he was taking rubles for ads from Russia and say, oh, I think it's crazy to think they had any influence on this election. Oh yeah? Well, I got a question for you. How much did it influence the election? David. Oh, you have no idea. And none of you people have ever answered that question. You can't and won't because the answer is self-evident. There was very little effect, if any at all. This is dangerous. We can't think anymore in this country. We don't have people. <laughs> no, I'm serious. We don't have people in Congress who can make regulations that can make it work. I think we can look to the Western countries in Europe for how they are trying to limit it. But you need 
You need controls on this. You need regulation. You cannot let these guys control discourse in this country or we are headed to hell. We are there. Trump opened the gate to hell and now we're there chasing us down. Wait, we gotta get it. What convinced you of your theory? Well, what started to happen is they just started to say it publicly in front of cameras. <laughs> Freaking real. These guys are like serial killers that can't help themselves and call the police to give them hints about who they are. I can think just fine. I don't need a government regulation that allows me to think or to think like the state propagandists want me to think. It's just so simple. These people are at heart authoritarians who have justified to themselves that what they're doing is for a greater good, which is exactly what makes them dangerous because at this point they could rationalize doing anything. And you know what else you shouldn't do? Spend your money on Cadillac or Verizon because they sponsored this psychotic authoritarian propaganda. Don't spend your money on companies that want to destroy you and America's most basic principles. That's it for that one. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Then leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.